Well, what are we fixing today? Today, we're doing some home assistant stuff. In 2024, eight, the version uh, a couple months ago, they changed something in the ammo, which you don't have to edit. But if you're a bit OCD like me and you want everything to kind of look the same and be consistent and uh, match the documentation up in Home Assistant, you'd want to change that. Then again, in 2024.10, this month, they made a bunch more changes. So I'm going to show you how to update that stuff. Now, again, it doesn't have to be done. It'll keep working the way it is, but me, I kind of want to fix it. So if you're like me and kind of want to fix it, keep watching. Now here is something that was done by uh, Tom in the, in the forums, talking about a good way to do this or things to remember. Um, if you look, look at all that's happening, there's a whole bunch of stuff happening. And one of the things happening is you're changing something to actions and you're changing actions to something. So you gotta make sure you do these in the right order. So that's what he was talking about yet there. And I will, I will talk about this when I get over there, but basically you wanna replace the word action with the word actions first in all your YAML files. And then after that, you can replace service with the word action. That's, that's important just because it's easier to figure them out and find them and everything. Uh, there's still some things to do with condition. Well, look, here, let's keep going. Look at the next screen I got. This is the screen from 2024.8, the uh, release uh, notes. Uh, and here they're talking about goodbye service calls, hello actions. So they're changing service to actions in a bunch of stuff. If you look down here, they will say, if you write automations in YAML, you'll notice that the service key is now action. So this was service in most things. And in my instance, it's still service. And it's gonna to have to be changed to action. And if you look in 2024.10's release notes, there's a whole section in there. And in that section, they talk about changing wherever the word trigger is to the word triggers. And we're in most, in all the top level places where condition is, change it to conditions. And the top level where it's action changed uh, a month ago in the, in the docs, change it to actions. And then here, wherever it says platform underneath the trigger, change it to trigger. And here's a nice chart of that. What it looked like last month, trigger platform. And that's, and then mine looks this way yet. And mine looks this way yet. And mine here says service action. So we need to change a bunch of that stuff is going to be changed to from trigger to triggers from platform to trigger singular the top level conditions are going to be changed to conditions not the lower levels as you can see they'll stay a condition and then action here will be changed to actions in my case um the other words going to be changed to actions whatever it is service service will change that. so we're gonna go through that. Here is a piece of my uh, YAML, and we're gonna. And this is in VS Code. So, if you if you're somebody who edits all your stuff in the UI editor, it's a lot simpler for you. Much much simpler. All you need to do is go into Home Assistant, go into the uh, automation editor. Open up an open automation like you're going to edit it, and then just save it. And the system will make these changes for you. And then your stuff will all match the uh, home assistant documentation when you go and look it up and try to figure out something and try to remember it. So just open up your, just go and pretend 
to edit your automations and then save them. And then the same for uh, scripts, if there's anything in there. Sometimes you'll have a trigger or something in there. So it's all you got to do if you're a UI automation and script editor person. Me, I do all mine down here in this world. Yeah, and I like red. Sorry. Anyway, this is uh, where we're going to kind of watch and see what's going on. But I am going to go in here into this key. This is the um, master editor or the uh, search key for the whole YAML file. And we're going to include files that are .yaml to do the search in. And we're going to look for the word... First, we're going to look for the word action already in there and uh, change it to actions. Now, let's see how many we find. Searching only in open files, disable. Ah, now it's finding a bunch. Now, I'm actually going to change this a little bit. In case there's something out of there, I'm going to go action with a colon. Change it to actions with a colon to make sure it's only looking for keys. And here it says I have 1,237 results in 98 files. So that makes sense. So uh, make sure you put in here that you're only looking in the YAML files. Um, ask me how I know. <laughs> don't ask me. <laughs> don't ask. Don't, don't ask. Um, so this looks like a reasonable number. If you get a number in here that says something like 20,000, which I may or may not have seen before and then pushed enter anyway, that was bad. And you may have to go back and restore your backup, which I may or may not have had to. <laughs> and this may or may not be the second time I'm doing this ed as a video. So, you know, may or may not. So let's, let's change these 1200 looks like so i want to open that file though where was that that was outside file so i want to kind of see what's happening and now let's go back to here action colon to actions colon look in the ammo files click this button here replace all replace 12 what's well, there cancel so I do that, and now I can see action will change there. Action will change there. So this looks like it's doing the right thing. It's going to change these action to actions. So let's see if it does that. Click. Place. 1,200 files. 1,200 words. Okay. So now we've replaced all of the word action with the word actions. The next thing on the word list is service when it gets all done clinking and clanking. All right. So now we're going to change this to I'm going to look for service and I found 141 of those. That's going to change it to action. So it's going to look under actions and make action in all these instances. Let's see. see? That should be cool. This is the 2021.8 fix right here, this particular one. It's going to find 990. In 141 files. Still with the .yaml. So let's click here. Let's click replace. Still running stuff down here. Okay. It's got through all the files. The next one to do is trigger. Because we're going to change platform to trigger and trigger to triggers, we have to change everything that says trigger first. Otherwise, if we set, if we change the platform first, then these will both say trigger, and then you have to do n by one by one by one, like we're going to have to do a little while 
in condition. So let's find the key. Change it to triggers. It says it's seeing 173 of those, 95 files. I believe it. Looks like it's got the right name here, the right word. Trigger, trigger. So those all appears to be doing what it's supposed to. Let's kick the replace all. Replace 173. Yes, replace. Okay. Looks like it's done. So now the next one we're going to change is the word platform here. Ha! Well, editing SG here, going through the video, and after I looked at my, uh, at the, uh, little bit, little bit of a mess I made with my installation there, um, I put some notes on the screen for the first two sections. If you hit enter after the colon, both on the find and the replace, that will make sure only the top level key there is picked. If there's text after the key, like in some places, like in a template trigger, um, uh, some other places, odd places where you, uh, you don't expect the word trigger, uh, it won't pick them up then, but for mine, it picked them up. So since I have VS Code, and since I'm putting all my stuff up into uh, GitHub, over on the left side, it saves the, the edit, so I can, like, back the edit out. So I managed to fix a bunch of stuff before I pushed the edit up. So I was okay. I just want to make sure that you don't like do all this and then have to go in and manually edit and revert it because it's all broken. This next section for uh, platform is in a lot of places. It's in the light group. It's in uh, packages all over the place. All your ESP ohm code, uh, the camera, the media player, TTS, all uses the word platform in its setup in configuration. So this one you got to be careful with. If you look at it, the ones that we're looking for will all have the dash platform and the colon. All right. And a space. It'll have that and then it'll have the rest of the key. So I'm going to you know, put that in the text down below and then uh, it's just to kind of show you exactly what I mean. But make sure if you look at mine, I just search for platform colon. Choose that. Search for dash platform colon space. And that way it should only find the triggers, the platform in the triggers, not the platform in other places like ESP Home, like the light group like packages, like camera, like media player, like TTS, which I had to revol revert those changes before um, I actually saved it up and, met, you know, otherwise it was, things weren't working. It was doing bad things. So keep that in mind. This is SG Editor out. Change it to trigger. This is another part of the 2024.10 update. So it'll say triggers trigger and it'll say action actions. When you get into that, actions, action, triggers, trigger. So this looks like it's doing the right thing. It found 450 platforms, which seems like a reasonable number. Let's do a check. Do we want to replace them? Yes. So now it says trigger, 
triggers, trigger, trigger, trigger. And it says actions, action. Hey, getting somewhere. Now's a tricky one. Now is the one we're going to have to do one by one by one. Because if you look, we need to change. Okay, this is, so look, for instance, um, this is a top level condition. So this one needs to change, right? But this one is not a top level condition. This one does not change. This one does change, these do not. Would I do some tricky stuff here? But I can always be sure it's gonna return after the end. And these will never return after the end. Ah, ah, there we go. So, if I search for that, where it's, see how it's condition and then there's a return. And I, and it finds 75 of those. See, see what I'm saying is condition in the bottom part conditions will also always have something behind it. And condition in a top level condition will not have anything behind it. It'll just have a return. So, I have to replace it with that. Almost the same, except I want the S in there. Condition to conditions. So, still find 75. Let's just look through this file to see if I got everything in this file. All right, go up. Triggers, trigger, 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 condition. It's going to change to conditions. Triggers, trick, and was there actions? Action. Okay. Triggers, trigger, trigger. Actions, action. There's no condition in that one. Triggers, trigger. Condition is bare. It won't get that one. I'll have to do another search and search for this kind of thing. This must have been made with the UI. All right, well, we can do another search for those. But these conditions are not grabbed uh, that are in the if statement. All right, trigger, 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 condition, this one to grab, that's good. Not those, that's good. No condition in there. Here's a condition with the brackets. There's no condition. I mean, no thing. So, hey, let's go with this. This will grab these. Place, 75, replace. Okay. Now I want to get these. So let's just grab one of these. Yeah. Clicking there and going over and then including the return. All right, so now it sees that condition. I don't need those stupid brackets there. How many is it seeing? 16. So these all must have been made with the UI. But these, these are optional and they don't need to be there. So I'm just going to replace this with one that looks like conditions here. So let's see. It says it found 16 of those. Replace. Look at that. I have some other schema issues here. I'm not going to worry about them today. These are the things I'm going to worry about. So, um, I think that's got it all. 
Let's come over here. This has updated 96 files in just a few seconds. That's pretty cool, right? Well, the best way to do this is actually one step at a time and use this kind of logic to make all your edits. I'll have to uh, look at this closer. Oh, I see. This is doing the full-blown show me. It's, ah, see, this is a change he's made. It didn't do this before. It's it's showing in minus this, and it adds this. So that's what's going on there. Minus that, adds that. And this one, the same thing. Minus this, adds that. I have uh, GitHub running on this. So I can back it out if I need to. But I'm going to go and test this and make sure everything's running offline since who knows what happens. But that's it. That's what I wanted to show you guys today. What do you think? Has this been helpful? Give me a thumbs up if you think it has. Show my, uh, my channel a little love. I got lots of videos about lots of things and not a lot of viewers. So I could use some viewers. I would love some viewers. I would love some subscribers. So give me a subscribe, give me a thumb and let me know what you think. Uh, and remember, next time you need to do some search and replace, just do it the easy way. Use the big scope. Bye.